Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stray. So we finally found Doc. We found, like, um, another one of the Outsiders. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around, making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he missed Samus. Is that the same thing? Pretty much, it seems like. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 giggle. That is straight up a Morty McFly reference right there from Back to the Future. That is straight up that. Ah, oh, jeez. And the only thing about around here was that kind of juice as a generator outside the house. The problem was that it won't start. I think it fused blue. And with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Hold on, I need to check something. Alright, there we go. It's all checked. Uh, Hold on. Do this. Kind of went out, left them. Here, take this fuse, it's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Okay, so I was going to find him no matter what. Sorry, I keep worrying about, like, if it's not recording or something. Uh, alright. I kind of wish there was a way it tells me that it's recording. That would be so nice. Oh, is he gonna snipe him from here? Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the deflector is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this deflector to your drone. Wait, seriously? B12! <laughs> Whoa. It worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run of such a small power source. Uh, if so, oh, jeez. Damn. If you use it too much, it could cause malfunction. Jeez, I had a hard time talking there. Just remember, it's dangerous now. Let's get back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Is that really a good idea, though? How do I use the deflector? Take out those zerks so we can get through. Oh, 
Wow, it worked great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool off for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. So this is one of the outsiders, then how did Zalfasar get to where he was? Because that means Doc was never with Clementine and Zalfasar. So does that mean the same thing with Clementine? The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. There must be a way to open that door. Okay, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I see it. Okay. Doc should be in his house for now. That's really where it should be. That was close. Let's go back home. See, that's what I was talking about. It's like, yeah, he should be in his house. Alright. Uh, sorry about that. Had to go check on something. Thanks for saving Doc's little friend. It's great to see the same as is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Samus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Hi Teddy, what's up Rosie? Oh Billy! Do you know my son Samus? It's thanks to him that I came back from the damn place. Yeah, sure, I'm so happy he's back. Oh, and did you meet the weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. So you survived the circus after all. Do you have the 10 cans you owe me? 
This is really impressive, Doc. Nobody had survived that long in the dead city. Norn me. Momo's waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but you have done everything you want. Oh, this is it, because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Oh. There it goes. Hello, bud. I can't believe we found Doc and got the Defluxer. With this, now we can go find Zalbazar. Let's go. I'm quite interested what's going to happen. Really. Uh, hello. Okay, so sorry about that. My game crashed. So... That's fun. Luckily, I was able to save the recording. Luckily, it was it survived. So, that's good. Alright, we're back here. I'll just resume this. Hopefully, it don't crash again. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's try this again. Fingers crossed. Hey, we made it. This place is creepy. That I can agree with. I know there's a lot of times that I see like angry faces of the of these robotic people. Which makes me wonder if humans really like them in the first place. I wonder if it's more like a Detroit become human type thing. I don't see any way to open the gate. Can you take a look on the other side? Alright, be careful, bud. Don't want to have a dock situation with you where it left you for a few seconds and you got started getting mauled. I've never been this far out in the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. I really question about this cat, though, because this cat obviously seems to have a really good amount of intelligence. Which I find really weird, but also intriguing. Sorry, whenever he does that, I, I get confused because I can't tell if he's trying to tell me something or not.
I was hearing my PlayStation making all that noise. I got scared for a second. I had to fix it before. This drive got busted. So what now? All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Quick, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Can't I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zalbazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. seeing a robot there. Can't go that way. I'm going to take him out right away if I can. Less risk of getting attacked randomly. The sewer system, yes I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientist showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Is that all this was for? I guess so, just for a piece of memory.
Oh god. Trying to take them all out because obviously they're gonna all wake up. How did he not grab me? I messed up too there. Okay, I think that's all of them.
Body! Gotta run. He totally had a flashback right there. And a nasty one. Make it. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. It was dark, I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflector is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. No more fighting, just run and stun again. Okay, that will slow down. Are you Zalbazar? Baladin, a traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? Zalbazar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. The ant village. What? I guess that makes sense. There would be other people probably also surviving. In other areas. This machine, the scientist I insisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine, but I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. Was it? Was it me who I was the scientist? I was human. I need a moment. I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Okay, so I can't talk to anyone. Must have been a cat person. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends, and ha what happened to everyone? I want to open the city, but is there any even one anyone left to save? Can't climb that. What is this? Hey, don't you know how not... Don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. 
Oh, and Clementine, she's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of the picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I wish you good luck, but you don't, you don't need it. I believe in you. Wait, what happened to him? I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now let's look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can get back. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. We should go find Clementine. I think I'm just gonna move on. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Hello. I'm bored. On Clement time, we used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. Destruction. <laughs> So only one outsider remains. So Zalpastar became somewhat one with the technology. I wonder why he had to stop. A subway! Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near midtime now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Wow. He's getting to a stage of like what to, what even matters anymore. I hope that doesn't cause an issue for us later. Where do I even go? I guess I'll try up here first. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books in the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was spe like spending time with someone.
<gasps> Don't worry about trash. Neko Corporation take care of everything. Wait, is that police? Please state your identity. Cooperate or we'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Oh. Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Organic. I have to watch out for them organics. Terrifying. So Clementine became a resistance leader by the looks of it. Dang, she gets herself into a whole bunch of things, huh? No matter what game she's in. Midtown. Now I just need to find some robots to tell me where to go. Residency, Shop Street, Neko Corp. Okay, let's go this way. Clubs closed, get lost. Oh yeah, who are you? Police? Everyone's looking for her. I didn't let her in if that's what you want to know. Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the delivery guys, but it seems like they're taking their sweet time. Mm, what's this picture? Oh, I know her. She's one of those people who's all obsessed with the outside. So sad. I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at the this game, but it ended up with malware. I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. Nice picture, I've seen this girl before, I think. She was looking for information about all sorts of very old machines, weird. What will be today, little sir? Our world must be gigantic from your little eyes. Wish I could be as tiny as I could. So you, so you, so I could explore new hidden paths. I've seen this girl before, I think. She lives in the residency, doesn't she? Where, okay, where is the residency? Like, no one's pointing me a direction towards it. Okay, so that's a bar. Is this the residency? Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. Hey, those tastes are ours. Don't you know how to steal? I can give you one, but you'll have to do something for G Genoma, Miku, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Life is boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. I guess I could destroy them. But what I'm really looking for is Clementine. Well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You earned it. Is that tape? Enjoy our song. You'll love it. Okay, so you're not gonna fully help me. 
but I guess I got something, so that could be useful. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. Oh, they're talking about Dungeons and Dragons. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. But let's play anyway. I'll go in the ca that cave. Let's go. Dude, you can't forget the character sheet, man. Part of the fun. Oh, is there going to be, like, hiding from the police now or something? What's that noise? I old up all my bearings last night. month. Is it you, Clementine? No, I don't think that was her. Where are you exactly? Good group making cute sounds. I like the comm set. <laughs> There's an address behind there. It's just here. Wait. Oh yeah, I can't examine items. Wait, how do I do that again? Three green dots, five red dots. Okay, so this is one. That's two, that's three, four, five, right here. <coughs> I thought you were here. You were a scent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait, so Zalbazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How do you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. I've been working on a plan to use the old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's a robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the Sentinels. So he has a gold bomber jacket with a gold... A bomber jacket with a gold chain. Alright. I should try building my own version of you. I bet everyone will want one. Oh, a guy wearing a bomber jacket and a gold chain? I know exactly who you're talking about. He's creepy. Creeping near the factory right now. Alright. So let's head that way then. Sucks when I get into a game there's when there's a lot of talking because I can try mouth. Uh so I need to find the factory now. can find a sign. I see Neko Corp. It's this way, I think? Don't look like it was this way. Ah. I'm gonna take a look, but it won't let me jump up there anymore. Mm-hmm. 
I'm busy. What do you want? It's him. Yep, I just saw the gold chain. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with that, my contact? Let me be brief about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Necker Core factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turn away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker's jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here and check for a good time to enter. Okay. okay, where can I get those things? Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. Necro Core Factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but I'm only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. a jacket. The Necker Corp, we work all day long together. The waste is sent downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. So, speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from them. Uh, there was this closed door. I guess I could check here first. Yep, they do have a worker outfit, it looks like. Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Oh no, you're not going to make me listen to that savage music. Now we just need a helmet. Oh, wrong way. Hmm. Wouldn't be dealing with theft right now. Yep, a cat just robbed you. A whole jacket. Perfect, the jacket is exactly what we need. I still need a worker's helmet though. Did you find one of those too? Where can I find a helmet? There's either a hat store or there's something else. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. I'm trying to think of what or where to get the hats. I didn't see a hat in there, so I don't think it's in there. Oh, that's a basketball. I saw orange for a second, I got excited.
This does nothing, doesn't it? <laughs> God dang it. Where do I get a helmet? Maybe if I just start talking to people. Mercer Crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I confront him. If it wasn't for the Sentinel Swarm Patrol, he'd end up as bar bearer of parts. Actually, out of power. <laughs> oh crud! I wasn't. I didn't decide to remember. Hold on. Two, four, five, eight. Okay. It's lunchtime. Uh, that wasn't the code. Two, four, five, eight. <gasps> it's backwards. Two, four, five, eight. It's it's eight, five, four, two. <laughs> I, I get it. I was like, "What? What does EDOC mean?" And I was like, "Oh, it's it's backwards." Pretty clever. Bit sneaky. I'm trying to figure out where this helmet is. Wait, what? I already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Where do I get the hat? That's what I've been trying to figure out, is how do I get the stinking hat? The one time you can't get a really a description about anything, and it's for the stinking hat. Only seen like two, and that's been the robots. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around you until I took a screwdriver in the knee, and it. <sighs> Seriously, did that joke? I thought I saw that I could jump on his head for a second. Oh. We have a worker, and I'm going to follow him.
All right, we did it. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.